Instrumental in founding Ontario Centers of Excellence in 1987, Dr. Martin Walmsley had a vision for an economically prosperous and competitive Ontario. It is this vision that we honour with the Martin Walmsley Award for Entrepreneurship. This award celebrates the achievements of an OCE-supported post-secondary student who has created a startup with a strong potential to contribute to Ontario's economy. The winner receives a $25,000 award to assist them in building on their business idea to achieve a prosperous company. Three finalists were assessed based upon their traction in the marketplace, dedication, success, and future potential. They are AOMS Technologies, Flosonics Medical, and Xanadu Quantum Technology. It's nice to really see a growth of the types of companies that we're seeing in Ontario. What was exciting today was to hear them all talk about wanting to build an actual company, a Canadian company, a global company, a company with a unique niche. It's amazing to hear not just how much they're focused on the technology that they're developing, but how much they're focused on growing their teams and their talent and really viable companies here in the Ontario marketplace. I'm Joe Weibel, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Flosonics Medical, and our company is bringing high-quality hemodynamics early in the continuum of care for critically ill patients in Ontario. My name is Amir, I'm the president and co-founder of AOMS Technologies, and we are making a difference by introducing new technologies to the industries to make insightful decisions and optimize their efficiency in Ontario. My name is Christian Weebrook, I'm the CEO and founder of Xanadu, and we're building the world's most advanced and powerful computer here in Ontario. In the intensive care unit is the most expensive place in the hospital. A third of healthcare spending dollars end up in the ICU. If you apply a product like ours early on in the continuum of care, you can cut that time the patient spends in the ICU by two to three days. We set out to build wearable, fast, easy to use devices that a nurse or a paramedic or a doctor can put on the patient and improve their outcomes in the delivery of care. So when they're in the ambulance or when they come into the emergency room. So we were an early stage startup when we met with OCE and at that time we had uh, not raised any money, we were bootstrapping. We got introduced to uh, Steve Gravel and we ended up getting involved with the Smart Start Seed Fund. Ontario Centres of Excellence has been there with key programming for Flosonics Medical. We were able to allow them to have access to Sunnybrook Research Institute. Ontario Centres of Excellence funding has been able to open a lot of doors that wouldn't have been otherwise open to them. The intersection with Ontario Centres of Excellence and the Voucher for Innovation program was pivotal to us early on because it allowed us to access world-class ultrasound engineers at the Sunnybrook Research Institute. They had a fantastic idea, uh, but they needed somebody to help realize it. So we have a wealth of expertise at Sunnybrook, and we can create a prototype that we can then test, we can evaluate lab bench top studies, and then we can start to evaluate those in clinical studies. We've learned a lot from them, they've certainly learned a lot from us, and it's been a very good partnership. With the concept of entrepreneurship, academics, and the synergy between the two, I can't think of a better example than Flosonics Medical Tour, the spirit of the Martin Walmsley Award. They noticed in a very visceral way a need for service, and they've been able to find the world-class talent to be able to provide a world-class solution. We are trying to optimize the industrial processes in a way that we can help to increase the efficiency in all the industrial production plants. The idea is to convert simple standard fiber optic cables into active sensing devices. It means that you can have a tiny piece of glass as long as a few kilometers and we can do distributed sensing of multiple parameters like temperature, humidity, displacement, vibration, all through the single strand of fiber optic cable. The platform technology that we have developed is based on many R&D activities with the labs and the research uh, groups that we are working with at the University of Waterloo. They have helped us a lot. They have been able to leverage the knowledge and expertise they have. The impact of AOMS on job creation is significantly high. They have moved from a company with only three people now, they're 14 people, which is amazing. You know, they are hiring people from the University of Waterloo. And as they move forward, I'm pretty sure they would actually create more job opportunities for Ontarians. We were in urgent need of financial help to get us to the next level, and it was Ontario Centres of Excellence that helped us to bring the company to the next level globally. Ontario Centres of Excellence, on behalf of the Government of Ontario, has provided support to AOMS Technologies and AMIR 
through both our Smart Start program and market readiness investment. AOMS has already had success in the remediation market, helping their customers clean up brownfield sites. And in the future, they'll be taking their technology into other areas as well, making concrete construction more efficient, cutting down on leaks from pipelines, and making structures safer. I have worked very hard. I have worked days and nights to bring the company to the level that is today. It's a passion that I have. I would love to contribute to the economy of this province, to the economy of this country, by bringing new people to the team, create job opportunities, and leave a good name behind myself. Moore's Law is plateaued. So Moore's Law was invented in the 70s and it was just sort of an empirical observation of the computing power of a processor. So at roughly every two years, the power of a processor would double and that lasted for a few decades. So we need a new different type of computing architecture to actually replace the previous types of architectures. Xanadu is building the world's first practical quantum computer. A quantum computer is capable of changing the world as we know it. And we're solving problems that would previously been unable to be solved using conventional computers. Xanadu is building a, a, a quantum chip. It's based on light or photonics and it can move at the speed of light and do some remarkable things. And this allows many benefits. One of them is scalability and also tackling a different types of problems that other companies cannot. Ontario Centres of Excellence funding has been very crucial to us. For the Talent Edge program, we were able to hire a stellar candidate for our photonics engineering, which has been very important to us. In the last two years, they were able to create 34 jobs in Ontario. When I first met Christian, Christian was alone just talking about an idea. After two years, today he has 34 employees, and I believe 28 of them are PhD graduates. I believe the biggest asset we bring to the table is the networking. So we were able to connect Christian with U of T to do some of the collaboration work. Our collaboration with the University of Toronto was really key to sort of pushing the company to the next phase. One of Xanadu's advisors is John Seip. We work very closely with him at the University of Toronto. Quantum computing and quantum information processing generally offers the opportunity to do calculations and data processing in a way that one can't by the standard methods. Xanadu is going to be at the forefront of that. Technology and the opportunity for changing the world has opened up for us.